we're going to see if any of these guys can pull it off. Zeb Meister, who was our slayer from last match, had nine E limbs on the game. See if he can maybe pull off the double digit here in game number three. He's going to be landing inside the warehouse over by Governor. He's going to be in that northwest corner to start this match off. A little oh, bit of starting Tom. loot. Not bad. Oh, Tom. Not, definitely didn't expect to see him. And Starshipper. He had fifth in the first game, and he's second out in the third. That is a rough start to game three. Again, that, that's the storyline, right? Anything can happen. You have to be ready to fight the second you hit the ground. You need to be able to really – you need to make use of – your free look in your parachute. Sometimes it's yeah. just not worth it, especially in this, to land on top of somebody else. No, and Chow. Chow will that pay is as well. Definitely it. Chow is going to be out of the running. There will be no gold AR for him yeah. this week. None for Starship or either. One of the things I did want to point out was we were on Seb. Seb literally came in second with nine kills and still did not break top ten. Didn't have a strong enough game number one, but he's in in the opportunity. He has the he opportunity, has the opportunity now to, to take it down in game number three. He just needs to stay warm and keep doing what he was doing in the last game. He needs to repeat that. Well, I like this play from Hurricane as he's trying to find an angle onto Tilbex. He sees Tilbex by that van. Oh, but Tilbex sees him going for the jump shots. I love that this is back in the game. I I like Tilbex's spot a little bit better in that fight. There was kind of a weird angle for Hurricane. Bunch of pre-fire there from Keeve, hoping that Gums was going to go ahead and peek that right side. Gums is favoring the right side very heavy here. Needs to be careful. As Keeve is just throwing bullets out there. That grenade might force him out the right. Goes off. It does almost half of his health, taking him down by 28. I'm sorry, 38. Man. Now that Molotov's going to hurt as well. And there it is, your favorite weapon. Mm. MP7 will take them gums. That's my girl. That one right there. That specific skin? Was the the white one no, no. with the black? Just the gun. Just the gun? Yep, not the skin. What are you gonna do? I, I it's rocked, gone the, I rocked the uh, what's it called? The golden golden dragon? The golden dragon. Is that what it's called? Isn't it the red dragon? Yeah. It's, it's like pink and it's got the gold like flake on it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's the one. What are you gonna do when it's gone? Cry. Just uncontrollably. Cry, probably message them to make me a different huh. skin that I can like on something else? I'm not sure what Hyper's doing here. He's got his AR, or I'm sorry, ATV deep into the the hospital, and he was just honking the horn as he went. Maybe he's got like a... You know what I do a lot? I bind... My talk button is usually bound to the same key as my horn, just for some reason. So I end up having that problem a lot. Your what is? My talk button and my horn button. You know what mine is? My free look, which is on my mouse. It's mouse forward, but it's also I've just never changed it. So if I'm ever in the car and I'm trying to find my teammates to like put their their name above their head, you'll know that's what I'm doing because the horn's just blaring when I do it. <laughs> We're gonna take a look at this first circle though. We're gonna have a northwest safe zone. It's gonna be off the top of the map the way that it was off the side of the map in the last match. A lot of lot of tree coverage up here ton of tree fights going to happen. You can see the difference in the green of the map versus what we were looking at in the southwest corner where it's kind of white. That's more open field. This is very densely populated for tree battles. We're going to see a lot of throwables. We're going to see a lot of shotgun pushes. This is going to be a very different ending than what we saw in the last match. That's why I like that this is a topographical map because you can see how this zone affects just by looking at the map. And you're right. You've literally got a range of hills and mountains straight pretty much through the middle of it. The entire backside of it is a big ridge of forest. It is going to be nuts. And ASCII here, I kind of like this play. He's hiding up in the corner. Sees Nation coming up, I think. Does see him. Nation did not. And ASCII will pick up his first kill of this game. Hopefully going for a few extras and maybe a top ten. My boy. The boy. Boy Askey. Young Askey. Looking for a big game out of him. We're over in the hospital here. MT looking for this fight against Hyper, who's down below him. He does have the height on him. Gonna throw a down a flashbang. Gonna probably flash got him. himself? Yeah. As he jumps into it, possibly. Swi-Fi gonna just beam down. Mosin strikes. Mosin gonna get taken down. And here comes oh! a point blank shotgun pump and then gets returned on. Heifer going to win that one, stays alive with five health, missed the pellet or two there yeah, on, right that on the corner. Yeah, right on the edge of that corner. Yeah, I think he caught either the corner or sent a couple wide right of him. 
gets the helmet, doesn't get the elim. That's a rough one. That's a that's a that's a desk punch right there. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. That that is a exclamation point desk in the chat. It is a, a rough one. All right, gonna be on board with Mo Forty. He's gonna be hanging out inside of Zim's ASCII also in there. Smexy right outside at the ring. He's hanging out, and so is Layman. So we've got four players here. Nobody really moving at all. Everybody's kind of hanging. Smexy's actually got two cars. Smexy's sitting pretty. Well, he has his cars parked next to each other, though, so both of them can get blown up at the same time, which could be rough for him. Kuba's going to go ahead and rotate in. We are down to 69 players once again here in game number three. I haven't seen anybody in the bush yet. Don't worry. Somebody will show up. We got a couple out there. We got you know, Carlson's running around. We got Sib. Well, Subet. Yeah, that's true. Could be any of them. But Kuba is going to find himself a camper. He'll be able to loot that up pretty freely. Look at the, look, look look at at the migration. <laughs> I was just looking at that, and everybody's facing the same direction, coming from southeast to northwest, and they're just all running to the zone. Kuba right on top of New Ghost back along the edge of the gas in that southeast corner. New goes, not again. Get out of there, man. It would be very unlucky if he Floda. goes down this early. Floda is moving. He's looking around, but he hasn't started moving towards the zone. Again, this is the first gas circle. He can make it through. This is one of the rougher sides to come from, though, because you've got to cross the gorge, which is always a pain in the gas. Yeah, because you can't see anything. Right. You see nothing, and you just pretty much roll the entire time. But again, First wave, not a big deal. Sib, our rock man, has stood next to a rock, using it for cover. It looks like he didn't see anybody in front of him, so he'll make his push deeper into the zone here. You see Seb and Fury off in the distance. It's Mo. There's an explosion here. His lagger is very close. I don't know where he's putting bullets in from. Who's, who's shooting at him? I think he's just inside. I think lagger is right inside that back door, and he was probably shooting over trying to catch Bay from it. Ooh, ATV inside. Interesting. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh huh. Well, if Mo didn't know you were ball. there, he definitely knows you're there now. Let him sing you the song of his people. Hey. Let's go. It's like he knows. Okay. It's, he's having a great time. Grand old time here in game number three. Ada hanging out in this building right next to Mahoney. Again, there is a few more POIs within this safe zone than there was. In terms of just like little buildings like this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there's a few more of them than there was in the previous safe zone that we had for match number two. Correct. Uh, but... Again, it, it's most likely finishing in some tree coverage. We're going to get those tree fights at the end. I'm hoping to see them. It'll be a little bit different from what we really even experienced most of last week. So those are those are always really kind of intense battles, right? You've got to use the tree, try and isolate fights. Muddy going to get eliminated there. He's going to go down in 69th. But it, it's about using the tree to block cover from the guy shooting you from the left so you can sh isolate a 1v1 fight with the guy on the right. And there's a lot that goes into those, and you've got to be on top of your game. You've got to have a really solid shot all the way through. Keeve here. Gonna hop out. I thought he just got shot at, didn't he? He did, he did by, by Morningstar, Morningstar, winner of our last week's EU showdown. So he's already got himself a shotgun. He's been relatively quiet on the board this time around. Flota has made it across the gorge. He's now got to make his way through Big Res. It looks like he might be driving around it. Yeah, he's just going to choose to drive right around it then try to drive through it. Can't go Good around decision. it. you got to go through it. No, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go exactly around. He's not going through it at all. He's gonna he's gonna make it. <laughs> Huge clump of people in the middle of this safe zone. Look at <laughs> this zone looks crazy. There's so many players in the middle of this circle. This kill feed, I'm giving up on the kill feed right now. I'm just gonna call it quit throwing the towel because there's no way we're gonna keep up with it. Right, it's gonna get tough as Hyper goes down to Raxia as well. Yeah, this zone is indicative of a uh, of a battle royale. I mean, this is like not battle royale. This is like royal rumble, and we're already at the <laughs> end of it. And the first guy never got eliminated, and we're in a cage match, and we've got 66 players in the cage. I don't There's even know flowers. if they have enough There's room. Chairs. 
They don't even have enough room to There's cock their arm the back south. to hit somebody. Like they don't even got. They have no room to breathe here. A lot what of these guys. What you gonna do, is, brother, when Morningstar puts his 24-inch pythons on you? Cry. I don't want anybody to was put it 24 or 26. I don't I want anybody remember. to put a 24-inch python. I'm on so me. rusty on my Hulk Hogan knowledge. I'm, I like I'm rusted out. Like my, like it actually rusted through and ate everything. I know nothing about Hulk Hogan except for he wears yellow. Bam, and Minnie bam, used bam, him bam, for. Bam, 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 bam. Minnie had him for like a profile pic for a while on Twitch, I think, <laughs> back in Z1. That, that's about as much of my knowledge on Hulk Hogan. Don't 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 even get into it. It's not worth it. And his daughter had a singing career at one point. <laughs> yeah, a singing Yeah, there we career. go. I know more about his daughter than I do him. That doesn't surprise me. Well, up here, Bonte looking down as a turret towards Hurricane and KRB. Did get some shots over towards Hurricane and actually had to stop and heal up as he was very low. And now he's still looking for him, spots him out. Going to try to put some shots on Hurricane. Doesn't need to take this fight, but he does take the armor. Looking. This is such a... These windows are so hard to... They're disorienting to fight through. You're in a small spot. It's messing with your camera. You're trying to shoot through a window. It's really hard to play the inside yeah. of these towers. And I think that it's intentional. It's probably designed to be a pain. Otherwise, that would just be really hard to fight yeah, against. Yeah, exactly. It, but coming outside oh, puts you at risk. Ooh, Carlson, you're outside of your bush, man. That's not the spot to be. Shot's going to come in. He gets tagged once there by Bonte. He's able to but, put another armor on right away. But it is kind of rough to play. So once you get outside, though, you have to worry about getting shot in the toe, shot in the kneecap, shot in the thigh. Mm -hmm. Opens you up to a couple couple hits there. Rax, you're going to get taken out by Pino. He's going to go down to 65th. We really haven't seen the bubble burst yet. It's going to happen soon, though. It has to. I mean... With Bonte playing up here, he's got a good spot. Momento's car is now lit. Can't quite find the shot there. Oh! It doesn't matter. It's going to credit the kill to him as he's the last one to hit him. And the bombs are going to come through. And they are going to clean up Memento. He goes down at 64th. And that is going to be it for him on the day. Can you just imagine... The, the words it's, that were coming out of his mouth as he heard the bombs coming down. The only one I know of that's probably been angrier at bombs has got to be Jerk Chicken. Mm. Relton is going to get taken down by Kuba. Back when he got hit and the bomb hit the hit it like his head level on the hill, so it sent the blast through the window and eliminated him, but did no damage to the car, and the car just sat there and did circles with his body in it. That was rough. <laughs> well, Bondi... Maybe in line for those bombs. Very close. Ooh, I thought Magic just got hit by the bombs. It's actually <laughs> lame taking him out at the same time. Well, now Gwesmer has his teammate very close to him. Vontae off on the side. Sees Vontae running away. Jogging him will get taken out by Mo, but Gwesmer will still be here. And Vontae looks like he wants to make his way back up top, and that's exactly where he's going. All right, got to go back home. I mean, it worked for Dan O'Hay to go ahead and pick a house and hold it down. Maybe it'll work out for him in the late game. And next safe zone is announced here, and it's going to be pulling towards the west side there. Again, we still got just under 60 players. We're actually at 58 as Tilbix gets eliminated. It, it's a lot of players up for this late in the zone. Broken taps now getting taken down by Kuba. This might be one just because of it is trees and how many pinches. It might act, we might actually be able to keep up with the kill feed. It may just be a constant rolling feed, but I don't know if it's going to explode the way that I thought it was at the start. Yeah, you're not wrong with that thought at all. Um, I, I think that they could provide just enough. You can see Crudenson put a smoke around the tree, and he's pretty much invisible to Fuey. But I'm not sure. I mean, Fuey right now. All I mean, he needs to do is stay alive. Yeah, he doesn't need to do anything. He doesn't need to fight anything. Ooh. Mero. You he's going to get eliminated. I think Mero was sitting in 12th or 13th also. He was on the board, though. He was in the top 20 for sure. And that most likely seals his fate. I don't believe he can crack oh, top 10. I don't think we've 10. seen anybody from the top seven I've written down go down. And there's one of those players now as Fiao is sitting in fourth currently. And he was taking a shot at our boy Sib. Taking a few. Ooh. Ooh. Smoke made out from Sib. Going to try and keep rotating rather than looking back to take the fight. 
would have possibly liked to see him maybe throw a shot or two up at Fial, see if he can maybe get a hit back him down a little bit, but he's going to just go straight for the run play. Running over, trying to find himself a rock, but that's open field. Oh, no. He's getting tagged a couple times. Sib down to nine. Pretty ball girl going to get eliminated oh. by Wang. Swi-Fi going to go down. Crisby, caretaker, also getting eliminated here. We're down to 52 players remain. And well, Sib doing everything he can, but Fiao does have a great angle. His legend's vehicle will get destroyed by Bonte. Mm. Seb Meister not going to be able to get that double digit here in game three. He's going to end the day with the highest elims of nine. Possibly. It could go crazy here. Bonte I meant for him. Right Sorry. There goes Sib. Sib and Vajkin and Reavers. Sorry, I do apologize. I meant for him. Yeah. His last game was going to be his highest Elims. Morningstar is still in this last oh, week's winner. He gets an Elims. Him in. That's one of the people that could have given trouble to Fuey. He's not going to be able to give it to him not now, though. And looking at a shot right here on the corner. That's Bonte. He's going to go in, try and get looted up really quick. This gas is chunky, though. That is four damage per shots coming in. He needs to get out of there. Sub at Rose. Rotating on this ATV. Couple shots coming in. It looks like it's going to be not Pino taking the hits. Subet with a seat oh. swap. Trying to check behind him. I'm not yeah, sure what happened there, but he's going to lose his armor. Just about out of gas as well. Needs to get to wherever he's going and do it quick. You can hear that plane going overhead, dropping those crates. And we'll see if those come into play this time. We haven't seen, actually. We've seen a sniper right Carl's in! in! My boy! He's got the bush. He does he's got it, it again. locked in. No clue. New Ghost completely unaware. Dan O'Hay going to get taken out by the gas. Stars L going to give a little bit of assist to that gas and get that Elim again out of gas. We're going to say gas a lot here, and that's going to be out of gas for uh, now. I'm not even sure who we were. Was that sub at that we were on? Gwesmer gets eliminated by Morningstar. Hurricane is He's right near Carlson. Is Carlson taking? New Ghost kills Carlson. Oh, but he has Hurricane oh. right next to him. And he threw down the smoke and didn't move, and he just gets eliminated instantly by Bonte. Zai Leon going to go down and lagger. We got a chase. Bonte looking for the fight. He's going to hop out. Shotgun out. First shot. Not going to connect. Second shot catches. Third shot catches. Gets the Elim. Now getting shot at. Going to hop right back on that ATV and get out of there. Hop on board as Mahoney goes down to Fial. Layman and Not Future both get eliminated as well. We're one kill off that 30 bubble. And everybody who needs to be up besides Evan B.I. right now is still up. Huey, Flutter, Fiao, L, Sib, Medzerzen, all still alive, all still vying to take Fuey out of that spot. And realistically, what needs to happen here is someone needs to get Fuey, and there are grenades coming in from Fuey over to Crudenson. Ooh, Wayne going to get taken out by the gas. We Arc, are your at gas. top 30. This hill is going to be kind of a chaotic fight. Crudenson going to almost get hit by Medzerson. Craze now pushing up. Player to his left. Spots Ada making the push for him. Adam sees him, gets the first hit with the shotgun. Not able to hit the second. Hits the third, but Ooh. not able to get enough damage that down. Craze going to finish that one off. Going to be able to get back behind the tree. Get some healing going. Ada goes down. Crudenson goes down to Morningstar. I mean, Morningstar would probably feel pretty good getting an AR as well. Getting a second AR? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's Medzard's in. That was seventh, so he's no longer going to be in contention for that shotgun. Play six matches, get two gold ARs and a gold shotgun. Yeah, that's a pretty good run. Yeah. yeah if he can good. pull that off, so. Well, Craze's ATV is on fire, and he's heading right up towards Lame. Has to ditch it, and that's an easy amount of bullets right into the chest of Craze to take him out. Yeah, Lame just going to go ahead and body him out. It looks like he may have had that other player's uh, ATV as it was out of gas, and it looked like it just kind of Ran out, going uphill, ran out of steam. Smexy going to find a kill on to MX, on down to 25. Circle Still releasing. It is going to start closing in, and we're going to see that kill feed start going off again as these guys have to rotate. Oh, Not sure if Kuba's going to be safe there. He might have to rotate as well. Yeah, on foot. Bulldog Evan right here ahead of him. We'll see if some shots come in. Good chance that he will take a few. Smexy, Stars L, both going to go down. Kuba and Hurricane picking up those Elims. That is the best possible thing that could happen for Fuey because those players were in front of him. This gives him room to move. There's, I don't think there's any way anybody's taking this from him now. Pipetta going to hop out, try and get that nice fight shot. against Ario. Not going to be able to take it down. Ario going to get punished Flutter by King. Fiel. Now, Flutter King going to go down to 21st, just missing top 20. Kakashi Ha going to be the one to go down to 20th. That's going to be the hand of KJ. And now Ashiki's putting shots over into that forest that anybody he can spot out in there. Looks like it may be Kakashi Ha. Kakashi Ha. 
Uh -huh. Natic with Bulldog Evan. Bulldog getting tagged up in the back, able to find that Elam onto Natic and find a quick corner to get healed up. Trying to see if he can loot that without getting shot. Sienu gonna go down at 18th. Fuey just watching this happen. He is loving it right now. Able to get himself a tan backpack very late in the game. It's Bulldog Evan and Subet now in a nice. close range battle. Luigi gonna get the jumper through the smoke. What great prediction there from Luigi to suspect Sabat was in there, and now is Vonte sitting on six Elims. I mean, he's got the potential to slay out here. He could get our first double. It's possible. He could be one to break into that top ten. I don't know if anybody else currently – I don't think I've seen another name that's up right now in the feed as much as his. He's probably the kill leader at the moment. Well, he's still going for more spots. Lame out that vehicle explosion onto Mamposian. Why didn't he take the shot at him? I'm not sure. Looked like he had the shot. Lame's going to be hmm. picking up this loot from the candy jar. That vice will go down at the hands of Kuba, and Kuba will get the hack. Kuba's at dog. six as well, so we've actually got two chances at it. Hurricane going to get taken out by Fuey. Top 12, Fuey's still in this. He has been so consistent today. Oh, Ooh. Looks like L may be dead. That was someone I missed, so he's going to be out of the running as well. Askey, Askey. down in 12. Ooh, Fuey does go down just outside oh, okay. the top 10, goes down in 11th. That's going to be at the hands of Bonte. Bonte is actually going off right now. But Fiao has the opportunity potentially to surpass Fuey here with the win today, but that is all that's going to happen. That's another all. kill. That's going to be with a Magnum, and that's going to be onto Bulldog Evan. Bonte that's now eight. looking at another hit as he gets one into Shiki. Lame looking for shots oh onto no. Bonte. Bonte needs to turn around and recognize this fight. That's the player that didn't take the shot that earlier, trying to give him some trouble. Kuba down below, going to get taken out by a Morningstar grenade. Mindline Lucas also going to go down to Bonte's grenade. He's at, what nine. is he at? Nine. I'm not even He's sure. At He's at nine. Morningstar now goes down to Lame. He's right on there. He could get it. We can see the double. We can see the ten. We can see the 10. I want to see digit. the 10 and the win is what I want to see. Yeah, I mean, 10 is still impressive, but 10 and a win is, is definitely what we're looking for. Bonte well, fires some shots over towards Lame. Lame has to jump off and put a smoke down. Sheik is moving up as well. You can see not Pino hiding behind the thing. Lame's going to go down and try to get this loot from Kuba. And it looks like he should be okay for the time being as Bonte just hasn't found the angle. Sheik is moving up now. This is bad for Bonte if Sheik sees him. So close. I don't know. I don't know how these three players have not seen each other more. All right, Bonte versus Shiki. Right now, Bonte's got the advantage coming up over the top. Able to get it. He is at, at 10. 10. That is it. He is now into the double digits, taking shots immediately in the direction of Lame. Gets the throwables out. Looks like that's going to be a gas nade coming in onto Lame. Lame turning around, trying to take a fight down below. He's going to take a shotgun hit from Fiao. Standing in the gas nade. Decided that's the safest spot. Doesn't feel good, but it might be his best option at the moment to try and get healed up. Bonte taking shots from the left side. That's going to be at uh, from Pino. Luigi and Fiao. Trying to focus up. Lame still sitting inside of that gas nade, trying to heal up as Fiao comes rotating in right below him. Going to start the shotgun battle, and that is going to go to Fiao. He needs to get healed up. Luigi right over this hill from him. Well, we're down to our top four, and Bonte sitting on 10 kills, but now has a Ooh. lot of stuff in front of him. Doesn't Ooh. have the helmet. He'll go down in fourth with 10 kills. But, I mean, MVP possibly. Great, great run. Yeah. MVP of the match for sure. Breaking into double digits in this type of format, this competitive play where there's nerves, everything else going on, that is a big number match. Fiao is our story right here. He needs to win this game to have any chance of knocking Fiui out. I don't think he can. I don't think but so, but if there's 11th, a shot at all, this is it. I mean, 11th is going to give him. You know what? I'm not doing this again. We're going to wait till the scores. I'm, I'm going to say gonna that he can't do it. He's going to bump up into second. Bump up into second. I definitely think. There's no way he hasn't got second. With Flota going out in 21st, and then BI went out in 47th, there's no way he's going to not be able to move up. Ooh, Pino right below Luigi, trying to make the move while he's firing. Luigi going to hear those footsteps at the last second, and he's going to come back up and punish him. Shotgun shot to the head. That will finish him off. Luigi versus Fiao. Out comes the flashbang, looking for the shots. Luigi currently oh! in the lead, and he is going to close this one out. Three E limbs, and he takes down game number three. So it's going to be Luigi, who most likely will jump up pretty far.